this morning. Oh, neighbors. And who? He is moving slow. Like, we ain't already running late. Look at that blessing. I got sure I ain't done nothing in my head this morning. And if you wouldn't have said nothing, wouldn't have pushed this over there. I sure would have forgot it was over there. Good morning. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to you. You good? <laughs> yeah, but can't get right this morning. And we good? I'm ready. Big homie. Big lit homie. Or oh, little big homie. By the way, guys, I can stare right in the eyes when I stand up. It don't mean I won't knock that ass down. Remember that. And just remember the day I got to put hands on you or swing back to defend myself is the day you got to get at. tomorrow live for the week you're doing good though i'm proud of you i really am it's almost like you finally get to you guys oh i forgot to ask you how was dressing out for the first time in pee it was right. <laughs> yeah you're starting to realize five minutes five minutes ain't as long as you thought huh Cause that's how much time they give you to get dressed in and out. Five minutes pass by like that, especially when you having fun or you know, you not really focused. Really? You know what I mean like that? When you not really focusing, oh, it's cause it's fine here and my case still on. You know, five minutes ain't that long, buddy. about it though the concept of time is so weird because the same five minutes that seem like go by fast when you having a good time or when you gotta you got something to do it go by quick but you know what I'm saying five minutes when you waiting on somebody or you waiting on something it seem like a drag out and take feel seem like it's long Anyway, y'all clearly will be on our way to school. But he on the way to school. I'm just taking. I gotta figure out why this thing keep sliding down. Need to take that case off for that. But it'll be fine for now. It had rain on us last night, buddy. Yeah, raining in the Oh, it was raining in too? You, oh, it, well, y'all was across town, so. I was gonna say, I know it was thundering over on my side. And I was like, oh, I hope they don't get caught in, but apparently y'all did. Oh, man. He came out this way. Who? Granted. How he came out that way? Well, when he went to the school, he came out a different direction. From the school? Yeah. We always go live when I pick you up. Yeah. We always turn this way. When I when we leave the school, we always turn this way. That's love. So he went past the uh grave site and the clinic. About where y'all track in, he went that way, huh? I don't know why he went that way, though. 
Did he cross the railroad track? But clearly, as y'all can see, y'all boys growing up. As we walk through it. Oh, that was granny blowing it is. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Dang, sis, you could at least wait because I real life didn't have to let you out. But to God, my kindness goes unnoticed. It doesn't go unnoticed, I mean. It's very much noticed and recognized. And every time you be kind on me, you gotta look for it in return because you get your feelings hurt like I just did. But anywho, if y'all can hear that background noise, it's because it's raining. Got the wipers going full speed ahead, you know. All that good jazz. Um, I just dropped y'all boy off to school. Um, I don't know how these videos are gonna be coming out because I got plenty of content up until this point, and like it's just me getting home, sitting down, focusing, and editing. That's becoming my issue, you guys. I'm no longer in love with editing that makes sense like but at the same time mm, because my content be so long already with the edited version I have to edit I can't just upload as is because I be saying some stuff I shouldn't be saying sometimes um be having misinformation or me going off or it'd be like long periods of time where I'm not saying nothing. I just got the camera rolling until I think of something to say. Um, so I have to edit. But I don't have the focus to edit anymore or right now. But anyway, um, I just dropped shutting off at school he is, that's what I was trying to say. Like, I don't know how these videos gonna come out, but he is um, in junior high. Woo, woo, woo. Seventh grade. <clears throat> and um, basically, um, come on here. Basically, I'm just like really proud and really happy because I don't know if I said this in prior clips or anything like that. So if I find myself repeating, I do that. Um, especially when I'm like trying to find something to talk about, I repeat stuff over and over. But anyway, um, it's our first year in 
four years, I want to say, four or five years, where he's actually going to school, you know, full on, he's in a regular class, and he's going a full day, and, you know, pat myself on the back, mom, pat Granny on the back, had his teachers and principal from last year on the back um, and just pat him on the back give him the big congrats because it's been a journey and getting him to a point where he would be okay with going to school a full day is amazing um, a lot of people may look at it and be like oh that's a normal kid to school to school for full day yeah but my child has autism for those of you who are new he's autistic ADHD impulse control disorder um so it's a lot that goes into him going to school um and being able to let him go to school and not have to worry about oh my goodness they're gonna call me or everything basically um so getting to this point i'm very proud because you think about it he's in the seventh grade he has one more year at this new school and then we'll be in high school you guys and it's like we were supposed to start last year we're integrating him back into the normal classroom setting. Things did not go according to plan. We did not get him where we wanted him to be last year. But he's proven, starting off this year, that he can do it. He's more than capable, which we already knew. Um, But it was just getting him to believe in himself. Uh, we still have some issues. I'm not saying that everything's perfect. It is by far not. Um, still having to work on that handwriting. Still working on those math skills, comprehension skills. It's not that his comprehension skills are off. Like he could read something and understand the question. It's getting him to put it in his own words on a piece of paper with his bad handwriting. <laughs> um, his math sucks. Um, but other than that, everything's okay. I, I can't complain too much. Um, it's been a blessing. It started off good. We haven't had any hiccups or issues. Um, he seems to be enjoying it. He seems to be happy with the way things are going. <laughs> okay, this traffic. I most definitely should have went the other way. I didn't think about that. Um, okay. Whoa. Uh huh. Yeah, I got trapped over there in that line. Trying to move too fast. Didn't want to get stuck behind this bus. But look at all y'all trapped over there in that line. Impatience is a mug. And look, the bus did, and the bus ended up getting over and ahead of all y'all. Thank you. But yeah, so that's how things are going right now as far as school for him. 
if I sound a little off, it's because I'm sick currently. Of course, he got something from somebody at school, brought it home. I'm the one who called it the worst. I don't know how bad the other kid was sick, but I know Friday he got sent home. Well, not sent home, but um, once school let out <clears throat> or whatever, they had told him to relay to me that he needed some medicine because he was having a runny nose and sneezing a lot, which honestly, y'all, the boy was at the end of whatever it was. <clears throat> he had been sneezing all week. But I had got onto him about that because he would get in my courtyard and he would sneeze and blow it all over my dash. So I had started making, hey cousin, I had started making his butt clean it. And, um, you know, I explained to him that you're spreading germs like that. And, I, you know, I can't afford to be getting sick, y'all. First of all, I'm a big ass baby when I get sick. Second of all, I have kidney disease, so anytime my immune system and stuff is not working and functioning as properly as it should because everything is in overdrive trying to pump toxins that are already being produced within my body normally. So it's just a whole lot <laughs> and I can't take on any more. But lo and behold, I'm the one who gets sick from children at school. And due to that, I'm the one who caught it the worst. Like I said, Sheldon was doing a whole bunch of sneezing, you know, sniffling and runny nose. But he wasn't dealing with all that I had to deal with. Like, I literally started off has normal like allergies you know when they get to cutting up I'm doing a lot of sneezing um then it progressed to coughing <clears throat> throat got scratchy itchy all of that you know the normal and then it went from that to sore throat and fever just a whole bunch of bull crap where it kind of took me out over the weekend. Oh, baby, you throwing rocks. I'm gonna need you to get it together. Please and thank you. Not today, Satan. But anyway, um, and you can still hear it in my voice. I am getting better. I mean, I sound like it, but I am getting better. Um, what I've been doing is also to keep him from catching it again and it being worse on him the second time around i've been wearing my mask when we're in close quarters like this he thought it was so funny he's like mama why are you wearing a mask in the car with me up oh. because you got me sick and i'm trying to prevent you from getting back sick how about that but yeah so that's what's the update on that Me, I could do either or, and that's on me, you know. Yeah, I don't know if I got time to be playing with your ass because you sure is taking your sweet ass, precious motherfucking time. Excuse me, I can't stand when people be like that. Like, you see, you got a whole line of people waiting on you to come through and you, it's like you slow down. Why I play on people talk like that? And then they did all of that behind me only to still end up behind me. Child, make it make sense. You know, I'm gonna stop at this gas station and put a couple of little dollars in this tank. Yeah, I'm so tired of filling up this car. Like, honestly, 
I love to upgrade. But see, the upgrade came when Gaz had an upgrade, you know what I'm saying? And baby, truth be told, this tank, babe, she don't play. She don't play at all. And then y'all did all of that to try and get in front of me only to have turned. But yeah, so basically, that's what we got going on right now. Ooh. Oh, we getting gas shot. Yeah, we getting gas shot. I don't know. Oh, some work in me. Baby, I'm finna have to walk. And I don't like it. Cause they show got they put up in your bag. How was this in this F-150? Cause they definitely could have did better than that. Yeah, do anybody else be like low key scared when you pull up to like a gas station or like a store or something and there be somebody standing outside and you could look at them and tell they lit throat and then all of a sudden you realize they talking to themselves and you like. Got a distance to walk from your vehicle to the door. Yeah, I'm one of those people. If it wasn't so many people out here, I most definitely would be like waiting for a spot closer to open up. But they just, I don't know, they be throwing me for a loop. And I don't like to be a judgy like that, but I be watching too many crime shows. And shit happens. I'll be back out. Baby. <laughs> I'll be back out. Child. Let me get my ass home. Y'all, this man just. <sighs> See, I know when I was going in the store, how I was saying that um, the man was weirding me out and stuff and all that. No judgment, you know what I'm saying? People have their issues. Deal with their demons the best way they deal with them. Um, or the best way they know how to deal with them. But as I was sitting in the car contemplating what my next move was going to be, y'all, he started coughing and spitting up cold or whatever he was spitting up and baby when i say turn my stomach mind you i was supposed to be getting gas but the pump's too full <clears throat> and i was like well you know i really haven't been able to eat like you talking about and i haven't made groceries well i'm just be honest y'all i've been making groceries like it's going out of style so I'm not making no groceries until we kind of dwindle down what we already got. It ha Ugh. Let me hear him get up out of here. Cause he about to make me sick to my goddamn stomach. Ah, my bag done fell. I got my little trash bag on the back of my seat, y'all. I had hooked it up, child. But anyway, um, but yeah, he had like, Start coughing up and stuff. He's still over there just, oh, I don't know if y'all can hear, but he just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to make the actual sound because I know how that's disgusting to me. So it might also be disgusting to you. But anyway, um, so I was like, you know, <laughs> since I've been sick anyway, I don't go inside a store without my mask on because like it was spread it to me. I don't want to spread it to nobody else or me catching something worse and on top of what I already got going on. So I've been, I still have to wear my mask regardless. You know, the world is, I hear world in again, but with my situation, I have to 
continue to protect myself. So I always stay on deck with the mask in the car, fresh mask, always in the car. But anyway, so <clears throat> I was like, let me hear him throwing this mask. So I guess he saw me throwing on my mask, guy. He gonna take a couple of steps down. <laughs> he gonna move a couple of more steps away from my car. <laughs> Like if the people say okay, <laughs> but I swear, <laughs> I swear it was funny, y'all, cause it was like he looked at me like and moved. <laughs> when you think people ain't paying attention, be careful what you do, what you say, and how you move, cause people be paying attention even when you don't think they paying you no attention. So I guess he thought in his head was she, <laughs> the way she acted. I know she ain't gonna give me no little piece of change. <laughs> and not, because I ain't got none. And she, you let me hold something. Matter of fact, don't. Because the way you was over there with all that cough, like, keep your little change. Whatever change you'd have made out there. But anyway, so. I go in the store, I get my stuff, and as I'm coming back, I, he like moving towards my car. And I'm like, oh God, he finna ask me for some change. And I gotta tell this man I use the cord. Like, I don't even wanna have a conversation with him right now. I don't even wanna be in the same space as this man right now. But I noticed he was going on the passenger side, and there was somebody in the car next to mine. And I guess he got a little piece of change from them. And then as I was getting in the car, he started back, he walking back towards where he was had been standing and he started back hacking. <clears throat> now mind you, every time I go to this gas station, he's like, especially here recently, he's always there. So it's like he a familiar face. I don't know him from any of y'all. If I was see any of y'all out in them streets, I if you're not a regular or you don't talk to me on you know often probably wouldn't even recognize you but him you know he one of them faces well if somebody be like oh you know boy at the gas station i could picture him and be like oh you know i could describe him because i'm used to seeing him but you know it's almost like a familiar face that you don't know a person you don't know but it's a familiar face <coughs> So, but I don't know him. But it's just, I don't know, y'all. It just had, it made me feel some type of way. Because I'm like, not me being judgy. And I'm sitting up over here sick. But I don't know. It, just, it was something about it. Just, I mean, you stand in front of these people's store. Hacking away. And it wasn't like he stepped off to the side to spit the shit out. He's literally spitting it on the sidewalk where people are walking. That is disgusting to me, you guys. I don't, I, I'm not going to say I don't like people like that, but I don't like habits like that. that. That's gross. You don't spit on the sidewalk where somebody has to walk because now I'm stepping in your sh <sighs> To me, that feel like you drinking out of a drink and you sit it down and I'm not paying attention or I deliberately use your cup as an ashtray and then you go back to your cup and you got ashes floating in your shit or you got ash, ash, ashes in your cup and you, you got to go clean like that. But it's different because it's the sidewalk and I mean, it's like... You tracking that in the store. You tracking that back in your vehicle. Like, I don't know. It's just gross. And then the fact that, you know, people are in and out of it. It's morning time. So a lot of people are on their way to work. So they trying to go up in there and get something to eat. But they got to listen to you with that. That's even like once I go in this house, y'all, I'm going to wait until I can clear my mind of this thought before I even eat my food. Because I already got enough issues with me not eating this 
like past couple of days. I don't need that to be an added bonus. Cause I got me a salad and a booty and link, a spicy booty and link. Which means I'm planning on eating real good right now. It's not right. It's a mix of healthy and unhealthy, if you feel my drill. But anyway, let me go ahead and go, y'all. I'll let y'all a little bit.